Um, I met Jo, the librarian, in school one day, and she was working with early years, and I was talking to her, as I do to everybody, and said, um, you wouldn't like to come in the holidays, would you? So she said, yeah, all right, I don't mind. So she came in, and she said, look at this, and she brought a box in, and it was full of the little folders with the stickers and everything. She said, shall we do this? Do you, would, are these any good to you? And I said, yeah, it's great, because it goes home, the parents can see what we've been doing, something to talk about, you know, just a link between home and school. So that's how it started. It's really sort of snowballed from there. And for the Summer Reading Challenge, you always get a collector's card and stickers and medal and certificate. It was exactly the same, but the collector's cards were a lot bigger. They were in braille and the stickers were, were bigger size stickers as well. So they, again, they got, they got everything that um, everybody else got, but they were just made, designed slightly different. And the children were very excited about getting them. After each session, the teachers used to hand out their stickers and collector's cards, so they, they did feel part of, the, part of the scheme. We need to approach the Summer Reading Challenge with a view to each child's own um, personal requirements. We tend, if all our stories tend to be very sensory, so we choose books that can be um, aligned with objects of reference or even just a piece of material or whatever, just so the child can experience it in their own way. They're hearing impaired, visually impaired. Most children can feel something, they can hear, some can hear. So we just tune it into each child and adapt each book that way. He's very tactile, so he likes all the tactile books, and he definitely understands that that's a story because he wants more. Do a variety of stories. We um, incorporate a bag book within the session, but we'd also use pop-up books, uh, books that make sounds, rhymes. We normally gauge it on the session itself, depending how the children were were that particular day. So. So we normally would do one bag book, follow up with a couple of pop-up books and uh, some rhymes to finish. When he comes home and his reaction to books and stories tells me that he did really enjoy it. What I realised last year was that he was able to, he kind of listened and uh, reached out to touch the pages. You know, you have to be careful he doesn't rip it. But that gesture alone tells me that he did enjoy it and um, it's something that he would want to continue to do. Summer Reading Challenge is huge in Havering. I mean, like the library service in general is huge in Havering. It's absolutely a central uh, priority to the council and to residents of the borough. And of course, reading and the work that the library service does is important to everyone. In an inclusive society, it's important to everyone and that everyone should have the pleasure from that, from stories and, you know, reading if they're able to, or hearing stories, experiencing things. Uh, so that's important to an inclusive uh, society. Yeah, I think the most memorable part of these um, bag book sessions is the fact that over the weeks each child responds differently and the response grows with each child and it's just so lovely. It could be like one of our boys actually looked into Joe's face and it was just so, it's so lovely. It's really, really small, but to us it's a real big thing. And having people from outside, it extends their social network, it extends their part of the community, it just, it just really enhances their life, so I'm, I'm, we're really, really pleased we take part in it.